I'm going to go over the purchase and install process for the VF Tuner as well as the available maps as of version 1.2.7.8 and the process of flashing your TC. When you purchase it, you'll get a license for the software and a Tetrix 2.0 OBD2 interface, though yours may look a little different. If you're familiar with Orange Virus, you may be wondering if this is the same as the old version 3 handheld tuner, and the answer is no. This was only a means to flash a selection of proprietary tunes created by Orange Virus onto your TC. This is no longer supported, and you can't even get it remarried to another ECU since they no longer deal with the supplier in Italy. The VF Tuner software is much better as it's not locked to an ECU's VIN number and you can actually program the maps yourself. The downside is that you only get a base map to start with and you'll have to tune it yourself or bring it to a shop. To purchase, go to vftuner.com, click on products, then choose software and flash cable. If you already own a Tactrix OpenPort 2.0 dongle like me, you can just purchase the software without the cable instead. Once you purchase the VF Tuner, you'll receive this email. Go ahead and download and install the software while you wait for the Tactrix OBD2 dongle to arrive. If using Gmail, check your spam filter because having links to exe files in the message can cause the email to be flagged as dangerous even though it's not. When downloading the software in Google Chrome, you may get this warning about the file being dangerous and it won't let you save it. Just discard it and use Internet Explorer or Edge instead. Apparently, there's an issue whenever they try to digitally sign the installer, so it always throws this warning. While that downloads, let's grab the drivers for the Tactrix OBD2. I'll have a link to this page in the video description below. Installation is straightforward. Run the installer and then just keep clicking your way through all the prompts until it finishes. While I wait for the main software to finish downloading, I want to show you the forum. We already have a couple of threads started here. If we go to here, and then go to the bottom of the last page, you can see we're getting support and updates. Showing interest for the Scion TC, including being active on the forum, can only help us out more. Also, I find it's a lot easier and faster to get answers to questions on the forums. Okay, the download is done. Again, we get a warning, but we have the option to keep the file. You still have to go through a couple of hoops to save it. You can click on the file name here to run it, or click on Show in Folder, and then run it from there. Again, an extra hoop to jump through because it lacks a digital signature. Okay, before I actually start the install, I did just download the file minutes ago and scanned it with ESET to confirm it was safe. You can see all the various ECU bin files being installed. When you first open the software, you'll get this warning about the license. Just hit OK. Now enter the info from the first email you got back. Make sure your username has no spaces. If you see this error, double check that you typed your master key correctly. Now plug the Tactrix into your DLC port and turn the car on to accessory. Click this icon to open the Toyota Flash tool and then take note of your system ID, which is the area that I have blurred out. Send an email to support at ovtune.zendesk.com with your system ID and vehicle info. In my case, it would be 2016 Scion TC 2.5 liter. You should get a reply back in a couple of business days with the reg key. Save that file, then double click on it, hit run, then yes to install it. Now to figure out which ECU bin you would use. Open the Toyota Flash tool again, and click Identify. The calibration file will match the bin file name you want to open. If the upgrade file exists, you'll want to use that instead. Click on this icon. Browse to this folder to find your bin files. I would normally choose 89663-21281, but I've already unlocked that, so I'll unlock a new file instead to show you the process. Click Yes then make sure this is what you want to open before clicking OK. And now you can open and edit that file. If you want to open another ECU bin file, you'll need to purchase credits. Click on Help, then License Information. Click on the Request More button. It costs 4 credits to unlock an ECU, so that's the number I entered, though the example in the instructions shows 5. You'll also want to go to the website and purchase the corresponding number of credits. They come in packs of 4, 12, and 20. After a couple of business days, the credits will show up in the software. Now I'll show you all the maps you can edit. 
Instead of opening the original file, I've made a copy so I don't accidentally overwrite it. I'm just going to click through and show you all the settings available for my 2016 manual transmission TC as of version 1.2.7.8. This is just an overview video, so I'm not going to go into any details about these maps. The only things I've really messed around with was changing my RPM limiter to raise my red line, and adjusting the spark control tables to create some crackle tunes for the TC community. You can find my crackle tunes in the VF Tuner forum, which I have linked in the video description below. I'm going to let my performance shop, Agile Automotive, deal with all the other settings when I get the car tuned. This is just a bug that duplicates the first spark control map. Just ignore the duplicate map. When I'm done going through these maps, I'll show you the additional ones available for automatic TCs. Now to open our newly unlocked bin. Again, I don't want to accidentally overwrite the original file, so I've made a copy. If you do overwrite the file, you can just reinstall the software again to restore it. Be sure to always export your settings to a new file, because if you reinstall the software, it may overwrite your settings on those original files. I'm just going to click through a small sampling of the transmission maps, since there's so many. Now this 21272 bin file is an upgraded calibration file for the 21270 and 21271 ECUs, which are the 2015 and 2016 automatic TCs. Now to show you how to flash your tune onto your ECU. Plug the Tactrix into the DLC port under the dash. Now I have an OBD2 shift light on a DLC splitter, and I usually open the kick panel to access the original DLC, but I've already run a few tests with a spare ECU and confirmed no issues using the VF Tuner software and Tactrix through a splitter shared with my shift light. I have the USB plugged into my laptop, so I'm going to turn the car onto accessory, then make sure my blower is off, and start flashing. Click the icon to open the Toyota Flash Tool, and then click the Flash It button. I don't want to kill my cat, so I'm going to use my mild crackle tune. Make sure you don't have any drain on the electrical system, then hit OK. During this process, the dash lights will flash like this. Now to turn the car off, and then start her up. It's normal for it to die on the first try. Just start her up again and you'll be fine. Now to let it sit for 10 minutes so it can relearn idle. I hope this helps you out if you're looking for a way to flash tune your ECU. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now. And as always, thank you for watching.